friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based question this is the part 22 and previously we have uploaded 21 parts and the links of all these 21 parts are provided in the description box in the pdf format i request you to download all this pdf and watch all the videos so that you will get an idea that which type of questions will be asked as the case study based question and how to deal with such questions i also request you to download the study material from the description box friends now let us move to the question the diagram shows the grid of squares a button is placed on one of the squares a fair dice is thrown if 1 2 3 or 4 thrown then the button is moved one square to left and if 5 and 6 is thrown the button is moved one square to the right friends this is very interesting question that there is a grid grid of squares and a fair dice is thrown and it is said that if the numbers 1 2 3 or 4 is turned up then the button will be moved one square to the left and if the 5 or 6 is turned up then the button is moved to the right and you have to answer the given questions with the help of this information so move to the first question first question is very simple but still some somewhat tricky and this question or the case study based question will be very interesting the first button is placed on the red colored square here this is the red colored square and here the first button is placed the dice is thrown once then the probability that the button is moved to the right is now here there is a dice and it has six numbers and therefore when you throw a button sorry throw a dice what you will get you will get either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 and therefore the total outcome will be 6 out of the six number any one will turn up and therefore the total outcome is 6 and the favorable outcome what will be the favorable outcome it is asked what is the probability that the button is moved to the right when the button moves to the right if the number turns up to be 5 or 6 it means the favorable are two numbers either 5 or either 6 so favorable outcome will be 2 and therefore the probability will be favorable outcome upon total outcome that is 2 by 6 and therefore 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 and therefore 1 by 3 will be the probability friends watch the complete video because it will be very interesting if you skip definitely you are going to miss something so here is the second question of today's case study based question on the other occasion the button is placed on the yellow the button is placed on the yellow here the dice is thrown once the button is moved the dice is thrown once and the button is moved we do not know whether it is moved to the right or whether it is moved to the left again the die is thrown the second time and the button is moved again again here we do not know whether it is moved to the right or to the left the probability that the button is moved to the violet we have to find the probability that the button is moved to the violet now here we know that the dice is thrown twice and therefore the total outcome total outcome that will be what 6 into 6 that is equal to 36 so that total outcome will be 66 now we have to find the favorable favorable outcome the movement to the left is not at all favorable so what will be the favorable once 
it should move to the right and the second time it should again move to the right so in the first throw it should turn 5 or 6 and the, in the second turn also it should move 5 or 6 and therefore the total favorable outcome will be 4 and so the probability will be equal to what favorable outcome divided by total outcome that is 4 by 36 and 4 by 36 that will be 4 ones are 4 4 nines are 36 so it will be 1 by 9 and the probability that is 1 by 9 that is the C option is the correct option. Now move to the another question. Please don't skip. Very interesting questions. Friends here is the another question. In the situation in question number 2 the probability that the button is moved to the pink square. In situation number 2 the button is at yellow square and the die is thrown twice and we have to find that the button will be moved at the pink square here. When we are throwing a dice twice, what will happen? It will first go to right and again come back to the left or it may go to the right again. Or the other possibility is that in the first throw it may go to the left and in the second throw it may go to the left or here it may come back to the yellow. So in any case when the dice is thrown twice this is not possible at all that the button will never come to the pink square and therefore the probability in this case will be zero so the A option will be the correct option. Now move to the second question. Now here is the next question in the situation in question number 2. What is the situation in question number 2 that the button is placed at the yellow square. The probability that the button is moved to yellow square is the button will be moved to yellow square again then there will be two possibilities that if it moves to the right in the first row and in the second throw it again goes to the left or the second situation is that if in the first throw if the button is moved to the left and in the second throw if it moves to the right then it will come to the yellow square again. So here since the dice is thrown twice the total outcome will be 6 into 6 that is 36. Now take the first situation that it moves to the right in the first row. So for the right the two numbers are favorable 5 and 6 for the right movement. So in the first row when it moves to the right then the favorable will be 2 and the total outcome will be 6 because the, it is thrown once only. So it will be 2 by 6 multiplied by in the second throw in the second throw if it moves to the left for the left 1 2 3 and 4 these are the favorable numbers either it should turn up 1 or turn up 2 or it should turn up 3 or it should turn up 4 these 4 are the possible outcomes and uh, favorable outcomes and therefore uh, it will be 4 by 6 then it will come back to the yellow square plus in the second situation if it moves to the left if it moves to the left it means for the left which numbers are favorable these four numbers are favorable so it will be 4 by 6 and in the second throw if it moves to the right it if it moves to the right to move to the right which are the favorable numbers either 5 or the 6 means the 2 are the favorable so it will be 2 by 6 and so it will be 4 to the 8 by 36 this 36 is the total outcome for twice if it is thrown plus it will be 4 to the 8 upon 6, 6 the 36 so which is equal to 8 and 8 that will be 16 by 36 and which is equal to 
फोर बाय नाइन एंड देर फॉर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द डी ऑप्शन फोर बाय नाइन नाउ लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द सिचुएशन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द बटन इज प्लेस्ड एट येलो स्क्वेर द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द बटन इज मूव एट वायोलेट pink or yellow square is friends this is for you as a homework very interesting question this is also and so let me know whether the a option will be the correct option b option will be the correct option or c option or the d option will be the correct option that in situation in question number 2 In question number two, the button is placed at a yellow square, and you have to find the probability that the button is moved either to violet or to pink or to yellow square. Answer through the comment box. So, friends, this was the very interesting question. If you have liked it, please press the like button, share it with your friends. and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video